Megan here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. So if you haven't seen my last video, I showed you guys exactly how I made this sticker sheet right here on Canva and um, used it to upload it into Cricut Design Space to make uh, print and cut stickers on your Cricut. So today's video is going to be super similar to that, but instead of using these stickers right here for Cricut Design Space, I'm going to show you guys how to upload them into Silhouette Studio um, and print and cut those. So if you are interested in creating designs like this on Canva, um, make sure to like today's video, subscribe below, and leave any comments you have in the comment section for me as I am here to answer any and all questions that you have about these stickers or just about Canva designs in general. So with that being said, we will go ahead and save these stickers right here. So if you're making them for Cricut, you do not have to save these as um, like a transparent PNG file. You can just save them as a regular PNG. Um, now, if you're going to use them in Silhouette Studio, I always save them as a transparent PNG file, which does require Canva Pro. So if you don't have Canva Pro, but you are interested in giving it a shot, then make sure to check the description box below as I do have a 30 free day trial for y'all to take advantage of right now. Um, Canva Pro is awesome if you are into creating digital products like this. So please make sure to check that out. But back to kind of the whole gist of things, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit download. I'm going to make sure that this says PNG and then I'm going to select transparent background right here. Then I'm just going to hit download. Um, and I'm going to just save it as this test kitties, test kitties one, save it. So now that this file is saved as a transparent PNG, I'm going to go ahead and open up Silhouette Studio. So when you open up Silhouette Studio, this is what it should look like. Um, before I do anything on Silhouette Studio, I always make sure to turn on my registration marks just because I've gotten really far in designs before and then realized that like nothing fits within the registration marks. So to save yourself time, I just like to turn on the registration marks, but you don't have to. So I'm going to exit this little window out. So to get that sticker sheet that we created in Canva into Silhouette Studio, all you need to do is go up here to File, hit Merge, and then you need to find wherever you saved that file and click on that file. So way down here somewhere. I've got test kitties one and I'm going to hit OK. So once you bring any kind of file into Silhouette Studio, it's always going to be really big. So you can click on it and use these arrows up here to drag it and make it smaller to fit on the page. Or by just clicking on this, you can go up into this top panel right here and change the size. So the size of the sticker sheet that we created is um, 6.75 inches in width by 9.25 in height. So I'm just going to highlight this, type in 6.75, and then for height, I'm going to do 9.25, and I'm going to hit enter. And now we have our sticker sheet. So I'm just going to um, align this within the red registration lines and now we've got some stickers so if you try to print and cut um without any kind of cut lines then like it's just it's just gonna print it's not gonna well it is gonna cut but um i like to put a little bit of an offset around my stickers um just so that if someone's um, silhouette kind of prints a little off, it won't, you know, cut into the sticker or the picture that you're trying to cut. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to hit this offset panel right here. I think this is something that's just on the Silhouette Studio Business Edition. Um, I 
I want to say it was like a hundred dollars for Silhouette um, Studio Business Edition, but it was just a one-time thing. It's not like a hundred dollars a month or two or three dollars a month. It's just a one-time thing. Um, but I use Silhouette Studio a lot, so it was worth it for me. Um, but you do need, I think, the Business Edition or anything other than the free version to do offsets. If not, then please correct me in the comment section. But for now, we're just going to do an offset. So I'm going to hit this offset panel and then I'm going to select this photo. So I'm going to hit offset. And now that I've hit offset, there is a red line which is going to be used for the cut line around all of these stickers. I can scroll up and it's around all the stickers and I can scroll down and it's around all the stickers. However, this offset button is so big that some of these stickers are going to be cut together if I keep it like this. So I'm going to create a very small offset. So like 0.010 And I'm going to see how that looks. Okay. So that actually looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Now, if you do want a bigger offset around your stickers, then you can just play around with this and make it as big as you would like. Or as small as you would like. I think the smallest you can do is, well, yeah, 0 0.005 inches. Um, that one actually might be good too. So I'm going to leave it at 0 0.005 inches and I'm going to hit apply. Um, now, if you don't have this, um, if you don't have this business version of Silhouette, I'm pretty sure you can use the trace function to kind of do the same thing that I just did and create cut lines. So I just accidentally closed out everything. So I'm going to go to file, merge, and I'm going to reopen test kitties one and do the same thing that I just did a minute ago. So highlight this, change the width to 6.75 and then the height to 9.25 and then I'm just going to move it to where it looks good right here okay so now I'm going to go to the trace panel so it's this weird butterfly shape thing so I'm going to do select trace area and I'm going to zoom out because I'm going to do this whole sheet of paper right here. And I'm going to change this threshold. To 100%. And then I'm just going to trace the outer edge. Okay. And once you hit trace outer edge, you can close that and you can zoom in. And once you zoom in, you can see that there is a red cut line around all of these little different drawings. So, you can always use the trace function and move the threshold up and then trace the outer edge if you don't have the Silhouette Studio Business Edition. Um, or you can do the offset at 0 0.005 inches if you do have Silhouette um, Business Edition. So now that this looks good, I am going to go up here to send. So let's see, I can zoom in a little bit, I think. Okay, so yeah, I can zoom in over here and it is gonna show me exactly where 
these lines are going to be cut. So I actually think I need to redo this one because it looks like it's going to cut out this guy's tail in two different places. So if you need to make any changes from this page, you just go up here to the design button and actually now that I've moved this picture over instead of um, just these cut lines over, it looks like it's actually going to cut him out like he's supposed to. So all you need to do to align the cut lines with this file that you brought in, hold down one of, like click one of these and highlight it, then hold the shift key and tap the cut lines, then go up here to the center button. It's gonna center it. Then you can right click and click group. And now they've been grouped together and you can move them to where they need to be. Now we're going to finally go to send. I'm going to hit this line button right here. And I'm going to make sure that the red check lines are, are um, turned on to the kiss cut setting. So the kiss cut setting means that these stickers are going to be cut out on the sheet of paper so that you can peel them off of the sheet of paper. It's not gonna cut these stickers out individually. Now, if you want them cut out individually, like die cut stickers, if you're doing um, custom stickers, then that's a whole other thing. You'd have to go in here and create like a new material. Um, if you are interested in that and you don't know how to do that on the Silhouette Machine, I could definitely make a video on that, but um, just to save time on this one, you want to make sure that it's set to kiss cut or whatever your kiss cut settings is. Um, then go back to simple. Actually, don't go back to simple. Go to line. And if my portrait three was turned on right now, then I could turn it on and print it and cut it. Um, but that's all you would need to do. Um, you actually would need to print it out first. So... You can use this send to print button, or you can do file print, then print it out and send it to your silhouette machine and do it just like you would with a Cricut or just like you would with any project on your silhouette cameo or portrait. Um, but that is pretty much it. So hopefully this is very helpful if you've got a silhouette machine. Um, you don't need any kind of um, fancy business edition if you don't have it um, all you need is canva and that's pretty much it so if you've got any questions or anything for me about this video um, make sure to leave them below and i will catch you guys again soon